Hello there, so of course you've all seen by now I was very unhappy about the recently released Bark Speeder Escape that LEGO put out with some sort of lamp build thing. But the important question is, would that have been better as a battle pack? You all know I'm not one to complain and leave it at that. I'm going to take LEGO's mistake, turn it into what I think would be a really good selling set and honestly... It should have been a battle pack. If it weren't a battle pack, I have added a few things to the set which I think would be worth the value at £25. So we're not going to be turning it into a £25 battle pack, but closer to that £15 battle pack that we like to see. Now £17, £18, but even towards that £15 for the set that I'm making. So let's take a look at my battle pack, which I still do have on display here. The instructions are up on Rubricable. Slightly modified, there'll be a short coming out. I'm pretty sure I've already said that in one of my recent videos, but there will be a short coming out. I'll get working on it today. It'll probably be out tomorrow for all the upgrades on this and also how to build a more accurate lamp than the one from the Lego set. And as you can see in front of you, alongside Keller and Beck's Spark Speeder and Sidecar and the random lamp that I guess does build into the world of Coruscant and the Jedi Temple and the two 501st clones, what I think is the perfect battle pack for a set of this scale. Now, it wouldn't be as easy for LEGO to do something like this. As I've said previously, we've got a speeder that is 80-something pieces. Again, definitely check it out on Rubricable. And if you're interested in the lamp Grogu sidecar, I can definitely tell you how to build them in the comments below. But I have modified this per your request to the 2014 battle pack. Well, it was less of your request and more. You like that more, so I'm going to improve this one. And I can update the instructions if any of you do want this version. But the changes are pretty easy to make on the side. Grogu speeder. I mean, Grogu's pod. Grogu's sidecar. It's sort of his own little speeder. I'm going to refer to this as Grogu Speeder from now on. So Grogu Speeder is a quite simple build. Much, much smaller than Legos, but still keeps the shape unlike the original version in my Speeder video. And as long as Grogu doesn't start doing any backflips, he does stay in there, of course. He's not studded down, so that's why he can't do any backflips. But as well as this Speeder just being a great set alone... It also comes with the two clone troopers, which, yeah, you're getting three and a half minifigures, so perhaps it isn't a perfect battle pack. But the two clone troopers can also ride on this speeder and sidecar. Not as easy as Lego because we have included that two to one jumper toll. But you can still seat them on the sidecar and you can still have two clone troopers arrive into. I guess arrest or execute Grogu and Kelleran. I'm not sure they'd want to execute Grogu after last week's Bad Batch episode, but definitely to execute Kelleran Beck. And it's great that we're getting a Kelleran Beck minifigure. It just sucks that it's not in too great of a set. But as you can see, you can get the clones on the speeders and Kelleran Beck would definitely have his sabers to protect Grogu at the temple. It just works as a battle pack. You've got the two clones in a speeder, or Kelleran and Grogu. And you could even buy two of these. Modify it like I've shown you in the original video. Try not to pop too many parts out. It is a bit easier to do with two hands when you're not recording. And then you've also got a speeder for the extra clone that you're getting. And you can definitely have a few more clones from your older battle pack. But I think this was the way LEGO should have made this set. Honestly... Does this battle pack, this is going to be a big, big yes from me. And I'd love to get something like this as a battle pack. I know the LEGO community doesn't really like these named figures, and especially Grogu taking up a slot of a clone. Would you have preferred to have seen something like this? Or would you prefer for 501st Troopers? As I said, Grogu's appeared in so many sets that they didn't really need to add them to this. I'm pretty sure he's still available in the Mando N1 Microfighter. So it was unnecessary to add Grogu to this unless you're getting him as a bonus character. So let's take Grogu away and replace him with another 501st Trooper. Would you be happy getting three 501st Troopers and Keller and Beck? Or would you want to replace Keller and Beck with another 501st Trooper? Do let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what you all think. And also, 
the cape all the leaks and that were coming out about keller and beck having this mandalorian style cape of course no one knew for sure no one knew until lego put out the official images because who knows what goes on behind closed factory doors but the mandalorian capes are so much better for jedi characters i can see why they're using their actual big flowy capes because of how the capes are shown in the movies but personally i'm a big fan of these mandalorian capes and think that the jedi should have these capes going forward if not the jedi definitely darth vader it's big darth vader vibes when he's in the black mandalorian cape definitely need it for darth vader going forward but i'd love to see it on all the other jedi too because i do think it looks a bit better on the jedi figures than the bigger scale of cape so would you like three clones with this or would you like them to have gone all out with five of the first clone troopers we've got pretty much every other phase two clone trooper you could currently want on sale so perhaps having the four 501st minifigures and perhaps even another speeder yes this is the complete wrong speeder and if lego didn't want to include the lamp in the battle pack they could have even given us a battle pack with the sidecar or a battle pack with the lamp if the sidecar could be transformed into the lamp that is hands down the best battle pack i think we would have ever had if they gave us a two in one battle pack that could be transformed from keller and beck speeder with a sidecar into another bark speeder it could be the same bark speeder design with the lamp i think honestly that would be an amazing set perhaps i'm gonna have to try and build a sidecar that can be mocked up into a lamp as that just seems like an impossible task but i do think that the escape should have been a battle pack i mean looking at it it's a battle pack it's slightly worse off than a few of the battle packs especially its price tag would you rather have keller and breck grogu a speeder and a sidecar and a lamp or would you rather have the battle pack that comes with the coruscant guard trooper three plane phase two clone troopers and a tri droid i've got a whole video ranting about this so please do check it out if you are interested but i think i know which one personally i'd rather be buying especially when you get so many clones and droids in the one set it's just not really that worth it so personally this does battle pack this would have been a great set at that 17 18 pound price range and it is a little bit of a shame that lego haven't decided to do that but lego aren't perfect so i think this will be the last time it's brought up apart from the end of the month we will be taking a closer look at all the different play features and actual functions of the set rather than complaining about it but hopefully this is the worst set of lego star wars this year because honestly if that was the case lego star wars wouldn't have had too bad a year so i'm definitely going to revisit this at the end of the year see if my opinion changes or perhaps there's another set that can go with it that will improve the value of this one but if you do think that this set would be a great battle pack drop a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome lego content and as always may the bricks be with you